Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started In this video we will be going to learn how to make an ordered list using Swift UI in which the user can reorder the item according to their need our final app looks something like this. First, we'll create a list of data by tapping on plus icon on top right corner. Then we add some data to the list. Then we tap on the edit button on the right side of the app. It will open the sorting button. Now we drag and drop the item according to your need. Before we go further in the video, we highly recommend you all to watch our previous video regarding this. Introduction to Core Data Swift UI Recursive and Expandable List View using Outline and Disclosure Group and Things to Master in Swift UI List. So let's start beginning to build this app. Recording is on Patreon and buy me a coffee. Make a small contribution or donations to help us grow our medium. We still offer free content on YouTube and other writing platforms. Also, don't worry, there are other ways to support us. Share us on Facebook, Twitter and other social media formats with your friends and ask them to subscribe. The links are inside the description box. First, we create a multi-platform app with a core data stack initialized by tapping the core data checkbox. Now create the project. First, we are going to remove some pre-fill code created by Xcode. Now open XE model data file. We'll not be creating any entity in this data model. We'll add some attributes inside the entity itself. Add string as title. Add another attribute order as integer 64. This attribute will store the order of the list item and when we move an item, its value changes to a new value where we move. Now let's dive inside code. Create a Swift view called Add Item View. Inside it requires the managed object context as view context. Then copy it and paste below and change the name as dismiss. This will help to dismiss the view. Then create a state as item title as empty string. Inside the body create a navigation view. Then inside it add form view. Then create a text field and bind the item title state inside it. Then below it create a button that will help to dismiss the view. Add some modifier to button to expand its view. Inside action add dismiss as a function. Create a fetch request inside sort descriptors. Add an empty string. Then add a private variable as items, which will confirm to fetched results and add item entity inside it. This fetch result helps to get the value of order attributes which we created inside the item entity. This will help us to manage the sorting of data. Then create a private function to add item inside the item entity. Create a let of new item which equals to item entity then add context as view context inside it. Then add title as item title state which we have created. Then add order as. Get the last element inside the item array which we get from fetch request and inside it. We get order attribute, either we get this value or if not, we set the value as 0 and add 1 in this value to increment the order attributes so that we get 
always a larger number from the previous count value. Then set the timestamp attribute as a data object. Then we finally save the data. Add the save function inside the button. Inside the content view file, we create a new state as add view which equals false. Inside the toolbar, add a button at the add item view value as toggle. Now create a sheet modifier below the navigation view. And add the sheet view. Then inside for each loop, we are going to show the text view with the title of the item. Add the navigation title modifier also. Now run the simulator and add some data. Now change the content view a little bit, add the order value also as a text inside it. To do so, add app stack inside for each loop, then add the text view of title inside it. And also add another text view to show the order number. Now let's create the function to delete an item called as delete items inside the parameter add at offset as index. Set then add with animation block. Then for each item inside the offset, we map the array of an item and add for each item view context.delete function. Then we save the data using do catch block. Then on delete modifier below the for each view and add the delete function. Now let's take a look to develop the sorting mechanism itself. Before we go for writing the code, first take a look at how sorting works behind the scene. There are two ways we reorder, either we move the item up or down. There are two logic we need to provide first for the upward movement and another one for the downward movement. Let's see the example graphically. In this example, we have 8 items. Suppose we want to move the 6th item to the position of the 2nd item index. First user will drag the 6th item, move it to the 2nd place and drop it there. Then in the background, we need to change the index of all the item which lies above the 6th item and below the 2nd item and include 2nd item also. And eventually change the index of 6th item to the 2nd item. Then the list will automatically sort the items according to the index. Similarly, steps are required when we move the items below. Suppose we need to move the 4th item in the list to 7th place in the list. Firstly, the user moves the item to the 4th place and drops it in 7th place. While in the background, we first need to change the number of all the items below 4th item and above 7th item including the 7th item. And finally, change the index of the 4th item to 7th. So this is how sorting works behind the scene. Now let's learn how we can do this inside the coding. First, create a function called as move item, which will take the parameter of add sets that confirms to index set or it means all the items inside the items array. And destination where the user wants to move the item. Inside it create a let called as item to move which equals to sets dot first. Which means that we want to find the item which we want to move from the sets array. Then we check if the item to move is less than the destination which means we want to move the item downward. And we create another else if which check 
if the destination is less than the item to move which means we want to check the movement of the item upward. Inside the first if block where we move downward we create a variable called as start index which equals to an item to move to add 1 which means we always increment the value of the item. Then create a constant as end index which equals to destination value add 1. Create another variable as start order which equals to items array and add an item to move index and find its order attributes. Now we need to change the order value of each items. So now create a while loop that checks if the start index is less than or equals to end index. Inside it, we need to change the value of the order of every element inside the items array to start the order variable which we have earlier created. Then we increment the value of the start order and start index. Finally set the item order which we want to move to the final position order. Now check out the case that happens when we move the item upward. Inside else if section, similarly we create a start index which equals to destination. Then create an end index which equals to the item to move minus 1. And start order to items at the destination and get the order of item and add 1 into it. Create another constant as new order which holds the value of item at the destination item. Then create a while loop that runs until start index is less than or equal to end index. Then we change the value of order of each element inside items array to start index. Then increment the value of start order and start index. And finally change the value of the item which user moves to a new order value. Finally inside do catch block save the data. Now add the on move modifier below for each inside body tag and add the move item function. Now inside the fetch request, we set the ns sort descriptor to sort item according to the value of order. Add some items inside the list. Here we made a mistake. We need to set the value of the end index to destination minus 1. Now run the app again and check out the sorting mechanism. Press the edit button and move the item. Here we can see that the value of item order changes. So this is how sorting mechanism works inside core data using SwiftUI. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.